Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 52 of Attila's Trek. That's right, boys. One year of devlogs. Let's, let's get some more confetti. I'm making a game called Space Prevention Force, a tycoon game where you build, research, and market the most lively company to save the most alien lives. This is a devlog of the development of my game, my karate training, and my career as a game developer. Commander, are you ready to go? Yes, sir. Then let's have some fun. Update one. Addressing feedback. I want to thank everyone who has played the demo so far, and especially those who have left feedback. These include Sam Hogan, Michael K. Taylor, Games and House, Daniel Lochner, Jojo Yu, Zero Tris, Rob Lang, The Broman 90, and Jaleco. Thank you so, so much for your feedback. One of the biggest feedback requests, and one of the first things I did this week was add some tool tips showing basic descriptions of each functionality. I'm not too sure on the UI position and the descriptions themselves, but now whenever you hover over most buttons, it will show a brief description about what they do. One of the other ideas I had was making an encyclopedia, like from games such as Civilization and Surviving Mars, that would show some more advanced statistics about each mechanic. Either way, I'm going to give the player more information so they can better make decisions, which is which is pretty important in a tycoon game. I added a few more suggestions as well, such as adding a quit button, go figure. I made it so that whenever you shoo off the sucky aliens, they give you a little bit of money. And I also fixed a bug where the competition was using the player's market share rather than its own. Oops. And there is another thing that I addressed that I'm a little bit embarrassed about. I was reading Sam's comment and he was talking about the psychology room. At first glance, it appeared that something was wrong. Not his comment was wrong, but one of the words inside of it. Upon further inspection, I honed in on the word, psychology. I sat back saying, no, this can't be. That's not how I've been spelling the four syllable word. But behold, the Google gods presented me with the word exactly as Sam had spelled it. I looked at all my scripts and found a severe lack of a specific character. Fists clenched, brows scrunched. I couldn't believe my silly error. Tail between legs, I spent the next 10 minutes adding the ladder looking character into all my scripts and variables. I'm not crying, you're crying. I seem to be short circuiting. Long story short, I forgot to add the H in psychology. L let's just move on. Training. I worked on some basic tricks this week, some that I've never tried, but I know that I can do, such as some pop kicks and spinning combos. Update two. Destroying. Destroy, build, destroy. I've had the destroy building mechanic in the game for a while now, but not to the extent I want it. Now, whenever you destroy a building, you get a percentage of its worth back as shown by a little text field right next to your cursor. Additionally, and sort of related, you can also now fire workers. Except similarly with the psychology manager, I'm working with changing list and taking out elements in the middle of them, and I'm having some problems with that. If I'm being honest, I might even just take out firing workers completely. It's not that crucial to the gameplay, and I really don't think it's going to have much of an impact, and there's really not much of a point. So we'll see where that goes. It just might not be worth the time investment. Product overview. I have spent 580 minutes on art, 2,515 minutes on programming, 60 minutes on animation, 10 minutes on sound, and 30 minutes on video up until this point. And here is a timeline for the development of Space Prevention Force. Update three. UI updates. I'm thoroughly convinced at this point that the UI will never be finalized. Not that I'm not working on the game, but I just keep changing it. After adding the tooltip descriptions and a few other elements, I changed the UI yet again, mostly this week about the design and color. There's a lot to it from the actual design to making an outlook cluttered and to conversely also show enough information. I'd imagine it will see a large redesign in the future like I did a few weeks back. I'll try not to mention UI too much more because you guys probably find it a little bit boring and to be frank, I do too. So we'll probably just leave it at that. Question. On the topic, how do you think the UI looks? You can tell me that it sucks, it's okay. I'm con gonna continually improve it anyway. So I wanna know any thoughts at all. So yes, like I said at the beginning, this is episode 52, meaning I've been doing devlogs for an entire year. Thank you to all of you guys for continually sticking with me and supporting me. Some of you guys have been here literally since before episode 20, which is insanely awesome. I'm gonna release a video in the next coming weeks talking about my experiences with 
doing devlogs for an entire year, so be on the lookout for that. And as this is a big milestone, I've really been thinking about this week about the future, about the future of the devlogs, about my game, and just the path I'm on as a game developer. I replanned SPF this week, just making sure I had all the tasks I wanted down and I know exactly what is going to be in the game for release. I also have been reviewing my devlogs and I'm starting to implement new graphics, animations, and scripts that will be featured in next week's devlog. And I've been working more with the Discord, trying to make things a little bit more engaging. Thank you to Daniel Lochner for helping me out with some stuff for that. With that being said, prepare for things to look different next week. Uh, it should still be me, and hopefully it's more me, but things are going to change. I'd love your feedback at the end of next week because some things are going to change a lot. I just want your feedback because I want to continually improve and, and make these devlogs better. Uh, so please let me know your thoughts on that after I release it next week. Thank you for watching. I want you guys to know that I love you, I care for you, and I'm there for you. My Discord messages will always be open if you need anything at all. From me and the commanders, we are saying goodbye, and we'll see you in the next devlog. Bye, everyone.